Okay guys, so today I'm gonna talk about a problem that it was problem two from from Saturday's contest and I think it's an amazing problem to uh, practice a lot of programming skills for future interviews. So number of distinct islands. Given a non-empty 2D array grid of zeros and ones, an island is a group of ones connected four directionally. You may assume all four edges of the grid are surrounded by water. Count the number of distinct islands. So translating what he's asking us to do, you have to find all the different shapes in the 2D array. So here you have this shape, but this shape is exactly the same. So we just have one sh distinct shape. D and here you have actually three different shapes. So you have this one in the form of an L. This one is like the reflection of that one, but it's a different shape. And these two are the same. So we have three different shapes. So this is not my solution. It's an article on litcode.com. You guys can check it out. I'm gonna link it in the description. And I think the solution is amazing. I really like uh, how elegant it is. So let's take a look at the code and I'm gonna also explain to you guys using some, some graphs. So he's gonna iterate through the array. He's gonna, first he's gonna uh, create a, a set called shapes. And a set imagines like a, like a backpack a bag where you put unique items. So you have, if you put, for example, you have a number two and a num another number two, and you add both of them to shapes, shapes here, you actually have just one because you can't duplicate, you can't duplicate uh, the, same, uh, the same item twice. You can't repeat it. So we are iterating through the array. We create a new shape set and there are two different things. You have shapes, which you have all the shapes you've seen and shape, which is the particular shape we're at. And then you're gonna call this function called explore. And on this function called explore, the first you're gonna first see if it's within the grid. We're gonna check if there is a one there and then we're gonna see if that particular cell has not been iterated before. So kind of like the max area of the island we've seen, we want to keep track of the cells we've iterated through already. Because we don't want to call the recursion two, three, four times on things we've already seen before. And seeing will keep track of all the cells we've already looked at. And then you're gonna normalize the shape. What do I mean by normalize? So you have this sh different shapes distributed across the grid, but they will have different indexes. So for example, these two green shapes here, they're exactly the same, but how are we gonna compare them if they have different coordinates? What we're gonna do is we're gonna get the first cell of the array, the left top corner, and we're gonna normalize all shapes to initialize at that point. So you're gonna, to do that, in order to do that, you're always gonna subtract uh, the, the coordinate by the original index. So for example, this is zero five, you subtract zero by zero, five by five, the first index of the normalized shape is here. What about the next one? The next one is zero six. So you have, uh, you have z zero minus zero and f uh, f six minus five. So it will be zero one. And you get exactly the same shape, but normalized at the top left corner. If you do the same with this shape and you put it here, now you have a way of comparing both of them and seeing if it's unique. So that's a very awesome trick the guy thought about. And that's what you're doing here. You're subtracting by R0 and C0, which are the original coordinates. And then you're gonna recursively explore every single coordinate vertically and horizontally. And this will stop when all of the possibilities have been uh, traversed. Then you're gonna add it. You're gonna frozen set means making a set that is immutable, that you can't change. 
and you're gonna add it to shapes. Shapes will be this uh, set and I actually printed on the uh, my IDE but for some reason I deleted but anyway so you have a set and you're gonna add every single set to shapes and if you have two shapes that have already been seen so for example these two and these two since it's a set only one will be inside of it only one will be inside of it so in the end we'll have just the unique shapes we've iterated through and this is really cool because in the end we can just return how many shapes we have the length of shapes so this problem is really cool because you use recursion you have to use your geometric thinking uh, you also have to uh, think about array so it's uh, sets it's a very complete I think very beautiful problem to be honest i really like it i hope you guys try it out by yourselves and if you have any questions refer back to this to this problem so hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys